Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Rafael that is the K20 Pro or Mi 90 Pro. Now team Evelyn to the rescue, they've done an amazing job over here because now we have Android 12 Beta 4.1 with a fingerprint scanner working but there is a terms and conditions exclamation mark to that but nonetheless it is working. I have it enrolled. It does say they have fixed NFC and a bunch of things so we will look into that but before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people chatting with each other, so join us there. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kailash, let's get going. Alright, alright, FOD Madness on the K20 Pro with Android 12 Beta 4.1. This is what a good development team or Android customization craziness can do. I'm really, really excited and I've been using this since yesterday. Yeah, you don't need a pixel anymore. Anyways, so Team Evelyn to the rescue, Android 12 Beta 4.1 hotfix is what they are calling it. Based on Pixel 5, built by Team Evelyn, changelog, fixed FOD. Once again, Amog 787 to save the day, fixed NFC for the Mi 90 Pro because this one is a K20 Pro which doesn't have MFC, fixed dual SIM, recovery will persist now which means after flashing your recovery will not be gone, ships with unrooted kernel now that is Soviet star kernel, F2FS support so that should make your phone even smoother and pre-include modded pixel launcher. Now it does require Android 11 firmware, flash VB meta if coming from MIUI, encryption is not supported and is disabled by default, L3 for wideband for now cause too lazy and no app to check proper working. So big kudos to you guys, you've done an amazing job. Now what do we have here? Android 12 beta 4.1. Let's quickly go to settings over here right and let's go to about it does say pixel 5 because this is a pixel 5 port it comes with the august security patch your android version is android 12 now remember we've done a bunch of videos on this particular version of android or this particular port so it will not be a very very long video but i will tell you my experience as to what have i noticed and what is new so first things first the ui is smoother comparatively compared to the previous build it was already very very smooth but now it feels more cohesive to the left you have your google feed now i know this is a 60 hertz display but just look at the smoothness the fluidity is super amazing on android 12. even if you pull down the quick tiles it is really really smooth to get things working you do have your power menu over here and I did install my secondary SIM card in there, so dual SIM was indeed working. Now, I do know that there were a bunch of people who were not willing to try this ROM because of a couple of reasons. One, FOD was not working. Two, dual SIM was not working. Because if you just have one phone and you have to use both the SIM cards, dual SIM kind of becomes very, very important for you. And I'm glad to report that both of them have been fixed. Now, let's address the exciting part over here with some sort of not so good news but always remember they are doing it for free and Amog is trying his bet to best to give you you know the best experience possible so the first issue that I encountered is when I was trying to enroll my fingerprint scanner so if you actually go to security there you go and you go to pixel imprint you will notice that I do have one fingerprint enrolled if I try to add the other one just have a look at this you have to be very patient, very precise, very careful because if you get error a couple of times, then it will not allow you to add the fingerprint. So that's one error. Okay. Okay. Keep going. Almost there. Almost there. Yep. So you have to be very precise while enrolling your fingerprint and once you've locked it, even if you have always on display, hold a little longer. So it does detect your fingerprint. There you go. So let's see once again, this is important because a lot of you guys will be checking this and then flashing this particular ROM. So if you are on the lock screen, fingerprint works, but on your always on display, 
it's not working but that's okay that for me is not a deal breaker at all because we have fod now and it works most of the time it is sort of like a oxygen os sort of implementation wherein it's not smooth like aosp or miui roms but hey you have it working on android 12 that is big news and you should really really appreciate for what you have so as far as the fod is concerned it is working fine and i can use it as a daily driver the dual sim the internet is working fine although the issue that i had was with wi-fi not to worry a specific band of wi-fi is 5 gigahertz i had issues with 5 gigahertz wherein it would randomly disconnect it happened to be three to four times while downloading bgmi so i switched to the 2.4 gigahertz frequency and since then my connection has been rock solid so again not exactly a deal breaker and remember they are still working on it they will improve things further so things will get better now as far as the particulars are concerned this does come with a soviet star kernel which was there in the first port as well as you can see soviet star kernel the latest one now i have ran a few benchmarks but remember this is a android 12 beta port we do have one of our custom kernels included so if you're not getting super sky high numbers don't go complaining at all like straightforward use it if you want to nobody's forcing you to do so but in my opinion of me using this with one or two sim cards since yesterday i think you can bear it if you install a proper good uh, g cam port i mean you have the front camera working as well with pop-up sounds and all sorts of things i have not installed a camera apk but you can go ahead and install a g cam over here so first of all let's go ahead and quickly talk about the benchmark numbers all right now i know the throttling and the scores might not look the best but this right here was a notification and unfortunately i was not able to run it again but it's pretty okay -ish. you know i mean it's it sort of looks bad but when using the phone when scrolling through the ui it's not that bad but even if you look at the geekbench number because this is a early port they are trying to give you the best of both worlds of performance battery and everything 745 single core and 2469 multi core we also ran a antu to test over here 442254 so again slightly low side of the score when it comes to the benchmark numbers and as you can see you do have bgmi installed i will be installing call of duty mobile and i'll be making a 10 minute gaming test in which we will charge the phone completely or to some level and then we will see how good the gaming performance is but apart from this if you ask me you know making and receiving calls has not been a problem but one important factor which is really really crucial is the bluetooth connectivity and that is the reason you see these buds over here so let's go ahead and try to test the bluetooth because last time around it was not working fine for me so let's pair a new device shorts xo okay so it is pairing with shorts xo all right it says active i'm going to test youtube now wow okay so the bluetooth buds are actually working this time on any of the ports this is the first time I've got it to work properly. Let's see over here. Okay. So yeah, the controls are working as well. And this is definitely welcome good news. You do see that the Bluetooth is connected. It's showing the Bluetooth connected icon. If you look over here, it says 100% battery. So that's really, really good news. And Bluetooth earbuds are working fine. So, you know, I mean, if you ask me daily driver stuff, you know, if you're not a hardcore gamer and you just want a phone for daily use, you should be using this as a daily driver if you like custom roms if you like trying new versions of android because you know we're not going to go through the whole material you thing and what customization we have because we've covered that in the past and android 12 what is android 12 these days almost everyone knows so it doesn't make any sense just to get you know the watch time to share the same things again and again you can go ahead and go watch the previous videos my whole motive of making this video was to tell you guys how better this particular port is not to say that this doesn't have bugs this will definitely have bugs because android 12 itself is in beta right now so expect a few bugs here and there but i used it since last night and it is working just fine the battery backup has been decent if not amazing the charging works sort of okay sort of fast charging is there anyways this supports 27 watt at the max so all in all brilliant job from team evelyn all the things tested you can definitely go ahead and try it as a daily driver let me know in the comment section if you're excited about the gaming review video on this particular rom until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye